flash on. She didn't put the flash on. <laughs> Look at that. Can y'all see us? Hello. Hello. Are you in there? <laughs> Let's see. Oops. 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 Hello everybody, this is Marshall, and thank you for watching, and for those who are new, welcome to the process. Yes. And this is my lovely husband. It's me. Vito. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> and today we're going to come to you with a question that we have been getting a lot of, mm. um, comments that we have been hearing, mm -hmm. and hopefully by the time we end this video, maybe we could answer those questions without really telling you what to do. Oh, All we right? can provoke you to answer. So some this more video questions. is about how yeah. my husband hey. came to my birthday party mm. with his girlfriend. Yes I did. Stay tuned. Yes I did. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, everyone, we are back, wow. and I don't know how to even start this video because today we was really talking about something else, and I don't know how it came up. I totally forgot about this situation, and um, yeah. It was, you really? Wanna, you want to start it no, off? No, I do not. I would like for you to start it off. <laughs> Make sure you get it right, though. What year was it? That was 2000 and, um, you know, five? I'm not good with years. Okay. Five, 2005. Okay, you guys. So 2005, this is what happened. It was my birthday. Um, for those who would like to buy me a gift in the future, my 2005. birthday is November 30th. So I don't know if it felt on my birthday or around my birthday. Before my birthday party, we went to, you know, the famous restaurant, David Buster. When you say we, explain to them who the we is. It was me, my my best friend at the time. Um, they threw me a birthday party. And we were, you know, pretty much involved in this particular ministry. And no one could come to my birthday party. So they decided to, to send um, two individuals to, to pretty much represent the ministry on their behalf. Just to say that once somebody from the ministry showed up. Right. Yeah. So here I am at my birthday party and <laughs> having a good old time. And I see this man by the name of Vito Smith <laughs> walk in David Buster <laughs> with another female, you guys. Yes, this man. It was my girlfriend, hello. Yes, walked in with his girlfriend to my birthday party. And you, I bet you're saying, what? What's, what, what? what's wrong with him? Well, the key is this. 2005. We did not know okay. each other. 2005. We knew, we knew of each other, but did not know we was going to actually be married. No. So just so you guys know, right. it was, we were not married at the time. We were not sitting up. We, not only that, we didn't even know each other like that. It right, was just like, exactly. Hey, how you doing? All right. And, did we even speak to each other? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Go ahead. So, no, we were not married. But I just had to put that out there because I know you probably clicked this video thinking, what? He got some nerve. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, that's what exactly happened. Him and his girlfriend at the time right. um, came to my birthday party, sat at the table right. with me celebrating my birthday. Okay. Well, let and this me was just... 2005. Right, 2005. But let me just tell you the conversation that we had. Okay, she was, okay, she told me, we talked on the phone, this is my girlfriend. You know he detailed, y'all, he got nothing. I'm to very detailed, and it's very important to be de detailed, because a lot of them, they want to, go ahead, you see what I'm saying, see how you like to want to <laughs> hurry up and get to, they like to hear detailed things, how it happens. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, we you stop interrupting me, then I'll get to it. But anyway, we were talking on the phone, and she told me that she wanted to go to this birthday party, and uh, she wanted to you know, show her support. His girlfriend. This is my girlfriend. And I, I really didn't want to go at first, but, you know, of course, you know, you know, you got your girlfriend, you know, you just want to, you know, hang out with her or whatever like that. So anyway, so I was like, okay, well, where are we going? Well, 
you know, she told me she said Marshall. Marshall having a birthday. Now I knew who Marshall was, you know, because she was part of the dance ministry, you know. But um, I was like, okay, well, that's fine. You know, we we can go and you can go ahead and support and do what you want to do. Because I said, all right. So we walk in the door. You know, I'm going to support with her going on with her so she can support, I guess, you know, Marshall. And, uh, you know, we it just felt, you know, I mean, I didn't know no none of them anyway. So I kind of felt anyway out of place. You know, she knew them from, you know, but I didn't know them. So that's how that happened with that conversation. That's how I wind up there with her. All right. So go ahead. So anyway, <laughs> we said that to say this. He was around me for a couple of years. We were in ministry together. Yeah. He came to our birthday party, um, uh, to our birthday party with his girlfriend at yeah. the time. Yeah. Um, the same young lady that I told y'all from what video was that? When uh, when I told you uh, it was the one that when God connected us together, okay. how He dealt with me. But if you haven't seen a, that video, click and I'll right. make sure you guys see it. That was a young lady who I chose. So remember, I was talking about how you know God dealt with me about all the women that I chose in my life. I was I was the one that chose them and not God. She was the one that I chose. That was the one that I chose and not God. So go ahead. All right. And so the reason why we decided to do this video, and I always say we're not going to do a long video, but just in case, hopefully it's not as long. But anyway, I wanted to be long. We said that because you talk so much. So it's <laughs> I wanted to be long. The questions we have been getting a lot of is, you know, what if people have been saying? That's your husband or right. that's your wife or, yeah. you know, people have been saying, you know, my friend is my husband or my friend is my wife or... Or God told them you know, God who my told husband them is, but I husband. can't say anything or something like that. Or God has told me who my husband is yeah. and that person is married or that person is involved. Right. Listen. This, this, this is going to get good now. <laughs> this is our process. Right. We can't tell you what God, when you say God said, you have to be very careful, careful because if it does not line up with the word of God, you can't say God said, listen to what I'm saying. You notice I never said God showed me my husband and he came in to my birthday party with his girlfriend. Right. That would not. And God never said who was my wife until that day that he told me, but it was built up. Which is 2000 and what? 2008. Eight. So, understand, although he was around me, yeah. God never showed me that he was my husband. Right. Although he came to my, my birthday party with his girlfriend, yeah. God never showed me or told me this was my husband. Right. At the time, this was my my brother in Christ right. only. Right. I was his sister in Christ That's right. only. Yeah. He had his life. I had my life. Right. He had his girlfriend. I wasn't dating. So if you have not um, seen that video, when I kissed Dayton goodbye and he didn't, check that link up there. And that was a young lady that I was dating. Exactly. Exactly. So I said that to say this. I can't tell you whether or not this is God, this is not God. Right. I can tell you this. If you continue to seek God's face and his guidance, he will show you truth. Now, I will tell you this. Why will God show you someone mm -hmm. that's involved with someone else? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and why would God <laughs> show you or tell you... Were you waiting you, on an amen? No. Oh. Oh, why, was God, why would God show you or tell you your, your spouse and that person's married? Mm. That's a very that's good. Yep. I'm just trying I'm trying to figure out Because he's got how. all the confusion now. Now, when he was married, God didn't tell me he was my husband. Sure did. <laughs> God didn't tell no. him he had another wife somewhere while he was married. Right. Because it does that doesn't line up. It doesn't line up. I'm right. just saying. Now if you believe God told you, keep praying. Do that. And even for those who you believe God did tell you and the person is involved with someone else. Mm -hmm. They're not married. They're just involved with someone else. Mm -hmm. 
I can't tell you if God said that or not. I will tell you this. God would not tell me that because he knows that I could not handle that. Mm -hmm. He would not tell Vito that because right. he knew Vito he would not dangle something in front of you like that mm. or tempt you. God right. is not a tempter. tempter. That's right. So he would not tempt you. He would not allow something to even come near to tempting you to get your focus off of him. Yeah. I'm that's just right. saying. That's right. This is me. Now that's God. That's God now. So if he knows you, you know that he tells you something beforehand that you're not ready for right now. Mm. That can be dangerous. Not saying he won't. Not saying that he hasn't. Not saying that he can't. Because he can do all things. But based on our experience and what we know and what we have um, um, a testimony to back up everything. Understand, he, he was around me. But and she God didn't know. never told nope. me he was my husband. Nope. Never. Never saw him like that. It's as if God had blinders on me and even on him until God decided to reveal it to him, the man, I had blinders on. And even when God dropped him into my spirit, yeah, I was mature enough to take what he gave me and put it on the altar. Because at the time I was like, that's the devil. I'm all about God and I don't need any distractions. So I'm saying, so God can, he dropped him in my spirit I was interested. I'm like, where did this come from? And I wasn't but I connected gave it, to nobody either. Right. And so I gave I him back that. to, and that's the big point. Right. He wasn't involved with anyone. I wasn't involved with no one. He I wasn't was married. Free. He no. didn't have a girlfriend. No. I wasn't married, of course. I didn't have a boyfriend. We was just two single people right. loving on the Lord. And that's when God decided to prepare us right. to meet. Remember now, we wasn't connected to nobody. I mean, that young lady that I did, my girlfriend that I brought to her birthday party, I mean, she brought me to her birthday party. You have to understand, we was already broke up. That was in 2005. This situation, when God dealt with me and then dealt with her, that was in 2008. So that was three years away from that. I wasn't connected to, to no one anymore. She wasn't so connected three, anymore. Three years yeah. later, yeah. he started to, now mind you, he wasn't even supposed to be dating her anyway, but that's, that's, exactly. That's here exactly. There. Right. So just imagine how long had that not happened, he would have been preparing us. Right. Whenever he was ready to prepare us, mm -hmm. we were not attached to anyone but him. That's right. So this is me. This is him, and we're here because we're both focusing on God. Right. Now he's preparing us for each other. Right. When he dropped me, dropped him in in my spirit. I gave it back to God. I gave it back to Daddy. God, okay, I need you to take this away because I don't need anything to distract me from you. He did that. And when it was time, he called me. He, res he resurrected and the rest is history. Right. So again, in our experience, when he prepared me, he wasn't involved. I wasn't involved. When he approached me, I wasn't involved. He wasn't involved. Mm -hmm. During the time he was married, I was praying for him, didn't know who he was, Right. but yet, God didn't talk to him about me. He had to deal with that situation while he was in that particular um, marriage. Same goes for the girlfriend. When he was dating or, you know, whatever, whatever, God didn't, here he is coming to my birthday party. Yeah, and didn't even, didn't even know that mm. she was going to be my wife. Three years later. Three years later. Yeah. We get married. Didn't even know. Didn't even, had no clue. Didn't even see her like that. And honestly, did not see her in that way because my eyes were focused on who I chose. So there's no possible way that I can be focusing. It's amazing when a person chooses who they want. Trust me. Why you wanted her? What? Because I made a decision. That's who I wanted. Uh -huh. Why? Whatever. <laughs> what attracted what? you to her? Well, it was the, it was the walk. Her walk. Her walk. Her talk. Let it check to each other. That of my guy. <laughs> but you know, I was still caught up in my doing it my way, choosing who I wanted wanted to be with. So that flesh. So that yeah, it was the flesh. So my, my point is that anytime when a person chooses who they want, they're not gonna be focusing on nobody else. 
So that just goes to show you, I mean, I didn't even see you that way. You know, we went there. We went there to support you. We left there. And uh, I don't know what we did then. I forgot. But, you know, that's the main thing. The main thing is that, you know, both of us was not connected anymore when God started to work on both of us. And God is in not, our process. The author He's of not the author confusion. confusion, you know. So why would he tell you <laughs> yeah. that's your husband? husband. And, and your husband, the one he's telling you is your husband, he, he's already married. <laughs> He, he's married, and then you're saying that, you know, or he's with somebody who he's committed himself to. Uh, it's like, why would God play with your feelings that way? He doesn't we, do that. we are creatures, we are creatures of habit, but we also have a, we have a nature that uh, we, when we get whiff of information, you know, when we get a whiff of information about something, it seems like our nature takes over to where, okay, we want to try to kind of manufacture more. Like, say, for instance, let me just make an example right quick. Like, just say, for instance, that God showed me this, this young lady and, and, and he said, this is your wife. Now, quite naturally, if God, if, 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 if quite naturally, if he's telling me that as a man, don't you think I'm going to try to do whatever I can to try to make myself in her pathway to make you sure, pursue. you know, I'm going to pursue, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to. Uh, make sure to see what grocery store she go to, so I can kind of go down the same her. aisle. <laughs> you do, do you do you understand what I'm saying? That this these are the things that take place. You're gonna be around. You're gonna try to make yourself known around it that person. Your mind, it messes your with emotions. your mind. So why would God want you to do that? Why would God show you that? Why would God tell you that until God get ready to say, you know what? Now when I do it, He always want to get the glory. That's the main thing about God, which you have to still understand. God always, always want, want, want to get the glory. And what is the main thing that God, when he gets the glory, a person is more surprised. Because it's, it's opposite of what they ever would have thought that what God would have done. So they'd be like, oh my God, I, I can't believe it. That's what excites God. Not him telling you, this is your so-and-so, or this is your husband, and then he keep you for three or four or five years, not even, you know, you, uh, you have not even got connected to that person, then that person run off and get married to somebody else. Oh, I'm so heartbroken now. That wasn't God. That was you. You know, that was not God. It's, it, you know, showing you that and playing with you, and then the next thing you know, your feelings is torn apart. Now you you frustrated and angry and upset now because now you feel like, well, I thought that was my husband. Come on, God. God is a father. When you learn the relationship between the father and the ch and the child, and you are the child and God the father. It will clearly start making sense to you that God is not going to mess with your mind. He is not going to dangle anything in front of you to try to tempt you to, to try to stir up your emotions and your feelings. When he already created you as a woman, you know, to operate off of your emotions at times. But now he wants you to operate off of the spirit. He wants you to operate off of, okay, don't. I'm not going to, you know, take these things and show you these things in that way like that. I'm, I'm going to surprise you because I want you to forever. I want you to always remember how I did it, you know, it, it, getting the glory. That's right. You, you know? know, so that's pretty much all we have in regards to. I just feel like it went long enough. When God <laughs> does something, he does it decently and in order. He's not an author of confusion. He's not going to stir up your, your emotions. He wants all of you. He's not going to do that until you are ready. And when you're ready, it's just you and him. And that's it. And that mm -hmm. person will just be him or her and him. Yeah. Okay? So we do love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you got something out of this short video. Yay. It's just too short. And if you have any more questions, if you have any more, um, you know, testimonies, Please continue to share those. I want to say this. You guys, we check our notifications every day. All day. And even throughout the day, when you guys are sending us encouraging words, you have no idea what it does to us. I mean, we come, we're calling each other, babe, babe, you guys, you, you, yeah. did you read the notifications? I'm yeah. like, no, no, no. Or he will say, babe, did you read the notifications? And we're like, oh my goodness, I missed it. But you guys are amazing yeah thank amazing. you amazing thank, thank you so much yeah. um you guys say that we're a blessing no you guys are a blessing, a blessing. because every day yeah. you guys confirm 
what God told us to do yeah. back in March. And we didn't know what we were going to say. Like, it's, like we said earlier, we first started, there's no script. Nope. There's nothing written. There's a curtain over there. <laughs> and that's about nothing it. Nothing but experience. That's it. All we have yeah. is testimonials. Yep. And because of that, we can relate. You can relate. Um, we're open. We're transparent. And I'm happy you guys can trust what we're saying. And you can take something from it and that it will encourage you. It will strengthen you. And it will help you. So with all of that being said, we do love you. And we thank you for those comments. Continue to keep them going. Again, we want to do a Q&A. So please, if you would send the questions to um, my email, the process at marshalllife.com, send us questions. We would like to do a Q&A video for those questions. We'd like to have at least, what, a good 10 questions. That However we can, many questions you guys want that to we ask. Can, um, How about that? No. I don't remember they want it. They're not going to ask a lot of questions. Anyway, anymore. please send your questions. If it's more than 10, it would be another video. So the more questions that I get, the more videos we will have on Q&A. All right? Would I want like to break them up. Would you like to also that what, you know, that we are basically used to confirm and, and testimony? Would you like to reiterate that to them? No, I would like for you to do it since you're just smiling like that. <laughs> All right, you guys, I also want to reiterate, like my husband said, what we're talking about in our videos should be confirmation. Yes, yes. Okay? It should be something that God has been doing with you already. Yes. It, sh it shouldn't be something brand spanking new. Come and on, you're man. like, what are you talking about? If that's the case, I need you to click off and go to another video. We're, we're not going to debate. We're not going back yeah. and forth. Um... We don't do negativities. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. All positive. We, we just All don't. Positive. Yeah. Um, we do questions and we will answer them the best way we can. Um, but again, when we speak about our testimony, it's our testimony. Right. That's why we call it the process. It's our process. Right. Everyone's process will be different. Yes. But again, at the end of the, the day... day it should all be the same if you are obeying God, God and your relationship with God is key. Okay? Yeah. So, everything that we talk about, it should be confirmation. Oh my God, God has really been dealing with me about that. Thank you, Marshall and Vito. There or you go. I've been there asking go. God or praying to God to, to answer me. And this, thank you. That's how it should be. It shouldn't be, I ain't never heard that before. Um, what y'all talking about? And I don't know. No, then our videos will not be for you. Yeah. And it's okay. And yeah. it won't be for everybody. Right. That's okay too. But I guarantee if you're watching this now, it's for you if we are confirming some things already. Or even if it's insight. Yes. You know, you may not be going through any of this, but it could be an insight for someone else. Yes. That you can go and help. So, Absolutely. okay. So again, we do love you so very, very much. Appreciate you. Thank and you. thank you for watching. Do not forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And please share these videos with your family, friends, and even your enemies. <laughs> we have no, to charge. Them too. <laughs> no charge. No charge. No charge. We have to bless our enemies too. All right? So we love you guys. Don't forget, be you. And keep it moving. And keep it moving. Love you guys. Bye. Peace.